We're allowed to have girls in our dorm room? Not girls, Gil. Women. We're college men now. Isn't college great? It's gonna be a great year. <laughs> <laughs> That was me and my college roommate. How did they get there? Anyway, they're laughing, but guess what? The joke is on you because student loan debt is now approaching a trillion bucks and nearly a third of it. It's delinquent. Ron Meyer says people are no rush to pay because watch it, it keeps bailing out folks and companies that don't or can't pay. Back with us as well, Monica Beta and Juliet Roginski. Ron, so there's no incentive to deal with it because. If you look at history, someone's going to take care of it, and you, right? Well, that's true, but frankly, I think a lot of students can't really afford to pay right now. I don't. I think it's probably one of the most underreported stories in the whole media. We're in a great youth depression right now. Six out of ten young Americans under 30 are unemployed. Half of those people who have jobs are underemployed, and student loan debt's off the chart. In my opinion, the student loan program, the nationalization of the student loan program, is one of the most immoral programs in United States history. What we're telling kids is, yes, you should, you almost must go to college. You must take out $30,000 in debt, and then, well, if you can't find a job, too bad. Go default. Go into delinquency. Well, bottom line, a lot of them are going to do just that, or at least shirk their loans, but is this going to be a housing crisis type disaster, Julie? I, I, I hope not, but I'll tell you this, Ron. I mean, I went to college. Thank God for the Pell Grants that you're now saying were a, a bad mistake because I wouldn't have graduated college without it. And I have paid every penny back and, and thank God for them. Because so because of the Pell Grants, you're saying you're here right now. It's absolutely right. And I'm not, question that and I, you know, and I'm so, so sorry loans, for that. And you might, you may, may be blaming the Pell Grants, I'm but I'm there kidding. are plenty of people in my shoes who could not have afforded to go to college otherwise. I went to a very well, expensive school. Well, no, I, I understand. But, you know, the problem with this is we, we keep providing bigger loans for schools and their justification to become bigger bills and, and higher tuition. So there is a separate argument about whether that right, just the chases the dog here. But we have this problem right now where a lot of kids are just saying to us, they're not, and they figure that the government's going to do something to help them out. Well, the problem is it's not your shoes, it's the kicks that the kids are wearing today. College has gotten to be a lot more expensive, and part of it is driven by the fact that the capital markets and the government have made it so easy to get capital. It's exactly like the housing bubble. And when there's so much cash... And it will, will erupt like the housing bubble, you're saying? It will erupt like the housing so bubble do we do? or be you, its own hot mess. Would we find another default solution for them, or or do we, we just say, um, add them to the list of people who've been bailed out? Well, you're starting to see programs come out. Um, Obama has put the pay-as-you-go program, which allows low-income students to pay up uh, pay off their loans at 10% of what they're earning, and then after 20 years, they can actually even write off the entire loan. And this isn't available to a lot of people, but this yeah. is something that's out there. And you know what? It, we are setting ourselves up for a bigger problem down the road, but the, the well, problem is that these kids just can't pay it off. It's just, it's a very sticky it, it situation. Is, it is single-handedly the fastest way out of poverty possible is to uh, go get a college education. How could you say that? No, that How is so false. That, that, that is incredibly Absolutely. false. Starting well, your life with $30,000 in debt is not Excuse the quickest me, way you're, out of poverty. You're, you're that is incorrect. You're, you're I have friends. No, no, no. I have don't students. Don't interrupt me. Let me finish my thought. And then I just, I don't, don't scream over me. Let me finish me. my thought. Then it's the thought. The bottom right. line is this. Look, if you don't get have an education, you're not going to get the kind of good paying Fine, job but, that's going to allow you careful, to pay off those loans. And even but if you get the education, 50% of those kids To be fair to Ron, jobs. what he said at the outset, this idea that everyone has to go to college is the problem. And I think that we don't give enough to those who are the future electricians, the future plumbers. I don't know about you, but my... My plumber has a driver, but, and he, he comes out, and you book him like the Pope. But we don't, the, the fact of the matter is he makes more money than anybody, but we don't encourage that kind of craft in this country, and it's gone by the wayside. I think part of your emphasis, Ryan, is just this idea that everyone rushes to college might be a bit too much, right? Well, and what, and what are they getting for their college education? You used to be able to say we'd make a million dollars more over a lifetime going to college. Now that number is down to 300000 We're getting a diminished product, yet tw tuition since the nationalization has gone up 25%. Average graduating student loan debt up 17%. The fact is we're having to pay astronomical amounts of money for an education that's not getting us nearly what it was. And the fact of the matter is university salaries are up 10% since its nationalization. Youth salaries are down 6%. Tell me how that's better for young people. But Julie, Tell me does raise the a good point that the more bread. we up college aid, the more colleges it, just keep you know, rising you know the price, right? You know what right? saying? If you don't have access to this kind of money, you're creating a generation of people who are only going to college if mom and dad can pay for it. So the wealthy among us will be able to send their kids to college. And those this among us who true. may not be wealthy but may be qualified won't what be able to What do you think of that? Yeah, but let loose the system is now 
creating a situation where these kids won't be able to get car loans, they won't be able to get credit cards, and they're gonna, their lives are starting with shackles. They've got so much debt right. that they can't really even move forward. All right, well, That's you're all too too young experiences, but then <laughs> the flip side of it is those kids are with you and they're not moving out. <laughs>